I'm Carol. And guess what? Christmas. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. It's almost Christmas time. Okay, I know it's not always technically Christmas. You probably don't keep your decorations or Christmas tree up all year long. Although I might pick a few things to keep up. If you think about it, we celebrate Christmas because God loves us and he sent his son Jesus to save us from sin. And that's something we can celebrate all year long. I have another treat that helps us know the story of how he saves us. Come on. This is Jesus's family tree. Each of these ornaments represent Jesus' family members who were around before he was born. The first humans had disobeyed God and hurt their relationship with him. So God had a plan to bring forgiveness and healing back to the world. His plan was to use a special family, this family, to bless all of creation. He did that by making his son, Jesus, a part of this family. There are a lot of really great people in this family, like Abraham and Sarah, who started it all. <laughs> or a woman named Ruth, who stayed faithful to God and her mother-in-law, Naomi. Or her grandson, Jesse, whose own son would become the greatest king of Israel. And even Jesus' own earthly dad, Joseph, and his mother, Mary. There's another ornament I like to put on Jesus' family tree, even though it doesn't actually represent Jesus' family members. I like it because it represents two people who believed Jesus was God's son, sent to save us all. Their names were Simeon and Anna. And they were so happy they got a chance to see Jesus with their own eyes. Here's their story. When Jesus was only eight days old, Mary and Joseph took him to the temple to dedicate him to God. This was something every parent had to do. <sighs> Dedicating a baby means you believe the baby is a gift from God and that the baby should live according to God's plan. But because the baby was Jesus, he would be the most important part of God's plan. He was the savior God's people had been waiting for. I can't decide which one to pack up till next Christmas. I'll just hold on to both. <laughs> Mary and Joseph didn't know that the Holy Spirit had already led a man named Simeon to the temple to meet Jesus. Simeon loved God so much, God had told him that he would live to see the promised Messiah. <laughs> when Mary and Joseph came in with Jesus, Simeon automatically knew who Jesus was. He went up to them, picked up the baby, and praised God, saying, Lord, my eyes have seen your salvation. <laughs> Mary and Joseph were amazed by this, but this was just the beginning, because while Simeon was still speaking with them, a very old prophetess came over to them. A prophetess is a woman who speaks God's words to others. Perfect. The prophetess's name was Anna. She had spent most of her life in the temple worshiping God. And when she saw baby Jesus, she also knew he was the promised Messiah. She celebrated and thanked God. And she told everyone who had been waiting for the Messiah that the amazing day had finally arrived. These two may not have been part of Jesus' human family, but they believed in God's plan to use this family tree to bless the world. That blessing is Jesus, the Messiah. He was born to take the punishment for sin so that we can be forgiven and live with God forever. This was and is God's plan, and God's plan is perfect. Way more perfect than my Christmas packing plan, which is to leave everything up all year long and decide what to put away until after next Christmas. <laughs> Bye, everyone. I hope you remember God's perfect plan for you all year long.
virgin mother and child Holy infant so tender and mild Sleep